In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a tab, a panel, and a button linked to a simple script. And I'll show you how to make the script into an add-on. This is the third of three tutorials. In the first tutorial, I showed how to create a script that makes a monkey robot. In the second tutorial, using the script, I made an operator that we can now link to a button. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the second tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. In the templates menu, Python UI panel simple. Scrolling down, this is the line that makes the button and this is the operator linked to the button. If necessary, drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar and click Run Script. The script adds the new panel to the Object Properties window. To see it, we need to add an object to the scene. I'm going to add a camera. Click the Object Properties button and scroll down to see the new panel. And when we click the Add Cube button, the operator is run. Go back to the operator script, copy the new operator, and paste it into the UI panel script. You have to delete the brackets and the BPY ops. Now when we run the script, a button is created linked to my operator. To create a panel, you have to define a new class. When the class is registered, the panel is added to the user interface. I'm going to give the class a more meaningful name. We have to remember to change the name of the class in the register and unregister functions. Scrolling up, I'm going to put the panel in the tool shelf so that we don't have to have an object in the scene to be able to see the panel. Blender label is the name of the panel as displayed in the user interface. Blender ID name is the internal name of the panel. To put the panel in the tool shelf of the 3D view window, change properties to view underscore 3D change region type to tools to add a new tab to the tool shelf change context to category and I'm going to call the new tab my tab now when we run the script and look in the tool shelf we see the new tab the class has one method, the draw function, that draws the panel. Objects of type panel have sub-objects of type layout, and this line creates a new layout object. Layout objects have a method row that generates a new row object. Row objects have a label method that allows you to populate the row with things like text and icons. In this block of code, there are two examples of accessing a property of the selected object in the scene. This line uses the label function to display the object's name, but it is read-only, we cannot edit the property. This line uses the prop function that gives us a field where we can edit the property. In my panel, I only want the button that's linked to my operator, so I'm going to delete all this. 
and rerun the script, I'm going to copy and paste the panel class into the operator script. Going back to the panel script, I'm going to copy the code that registers the class and paste it into the operator script. We want one register function that registers both classes, so I'm going to cut this line and paste it into the original register function and do the same for the unregister function, cut and paste, and tidy up. We only want one call to the register function and change the name of the script to simply monkey robot one, turning a simple script into an add-on is very easy in the templates menu, open the add-on template. All we have to do is copy the information at the start of the file and paste it into our script. Change the name of the add-on to something meaningful. The other information only really needs to be changed if you plan to share the add-on. I have jumped ahead and changed all the relevant information now we have to save the script outside of the Blender file. In the text menu, Save As, go to a suitable folder and save. File, New, Reload Startup File. File, User Preferences. Click Add-ons. Click the Install from File button. Go to the folder where you saved the script. Select it and Install from File. Notice that Grease Pencil is the last tab. If I tick to enable the add-on, My tab appears. If I untick, it disappears. Click the white arrow to display the information we typed in about the add-on. The remove button is useful when you're experimenting making add-ons because it's the only way to completely remove an add-on. Click save user settings if you want the add-on enabled for future Blender sessions. Click close if you only want it enabled for this session. Click my tab. Click Add Monkey Robot, move the 3D cursor, click the button again. That's the end of this tutorial. I will be doing future tutorials that use and develop scripting techniques. I will put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.